Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So today I am going to work on this. So I have already implemented uh, equip bow and draw in arrow part but uh, when I already have a weapon in my hand I first before drawing an arrow I need to put that weapon uh, back uh, into my the back of the character like this so now as you can see that sword is in the back of the character now when I release the uh, bow so again the character equip the sword so that's what I'm going to do today and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me all right so first this is what I'm going to work on so when I if I already have some weapon in my hand when I press uh, equip bow I should put back that weapon before equipping the bow so let's work on that right so first I'll open my human character and this is where that equipping bow part happens so how can I put back my weapon that is already on hand actually I am already I have already implemented that here when I toggle weapon 0 if right here it is here I get the current weapon whatever the weapon that I already have and attach to weapon strap 1 or 2 so that's how I put back my weapon that I already have but I can't use the same macro because there is a plain montage part also here so I'm gonna have to re-implement that part again right here first uh, let's see how it looks and figure out where should I do the weapon switch all right now I'll draw my arrow and now as you can see the reaction time was a little too much see so I think first I should uh, modify these montages a little bit let's see where we can okay I'll cut down from somewhere here and also after this part can I do it like this uh, no so therefore for the end frame I'll use 0.5 okay and for the first frame let's use something like point two okay now let's see how it looks wait what happened to the montage right Well, that's too fast. So I'll set this one back to zero again and see. Right. I think that's good enough. But the drawing arrow part is too slow. Equip boy is good. yeah 
so let's optimize draw arrow what if I start maybe right here That's not going to work. Maybe point one. Right. That's okay, but then I have to fix this one. The looping part. I'm gonna have to move it maybe like this. Let's see. okay right now that part is done so I need to put back the weapon that I already have where yeah maybe right here at this point I should put back the weapon into the weapon strap so here I'll create a montage notifier I'll call it switch weapon well name is not important so here on the notifier begin I will have that notifier fired okay so first before putting back the weapon I should uh, make sure that I, I need to check if I already have equipped a weapon if yes get weapon a branch or not if I begin check it like this and if it is true I need to get the current weapon like this and attach wait why is that attach to component and the parent should be this weapon strap 1 or 2 <laughs> so if so how can I select that for that I can use this current weapon number actually it should be under the fight category so I'll put it like right here okay so let's get it like this and I'm gonna do a select node with this one with this weapon number and if it is option 1 that means weapon 1 so it should go back to weapon strap 1 and if that is option 2 that means it should go back to weapon strap 2 and compile well if it is option number 0 that means I don't have a weapon so this part should not take place it should be blocked by here but right now well it seems even though I have declared this weapon equipped I haven't used it and used it anywhere so therefore instead of this one I'll check if this one is larger than zero okay and also I'll delete this weapon uh, this weapon equipped variable where is it 
yeah because if I don't use it why would I keep it and uh, let's see if that works right that worked so yeah so also when I release the arrow the, when I put back my bow then again this current weapon should go back to hand so we can do that also like this before that I need to add some kind of a uh, Uh, no, let's worry about that later. So just like this When I Yeah, I need to play this draw montage again in order to use this because otherwise there will be no animation to uh, equip the weapon so on completed I'll call this one right and on notify begin do this part but this time the parent should be uh, the right hand socket or oh, this hand socket let's see how it works out okay now I'll equip bow right now I'll release bow well it didn't work Oh, right, I forgot to plug this skeletal mesh. Okay, right, okay. Oh, wait, why am I again going to? Ah, uh, right, so that's because I have this looping part here because of this part so therefore instead of playing this animation montage I'll play equip over shoulder this one the one that I already use right okay in that animation I don't have a notifier so I'll go ahead and add one right here right press alt okay now release alt okay Fine, that is working as intended. And the reaction time is too much, so I'll increase the pay rate to 1.6. And see. Okay, that's fine right so and that's all i'm going to do for today and in the next episode i'm going to work on uh, these things so when i have equipped the bow as you can see my legs are not working so i'm going to fix that 
and also when I am in this mode uh, my character should rotate to aim wherever the direction that I am looking at at the moment so it should rotate and my camera should move forward to give a convenient perspective for the player to make the aiming task easier right and and uh, when I'm done polishing up this uh, bow and arrow part I'll upload a source code update and as always if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club and depending on the tier you join you will have different privileges as I have explained here in this site alright see you in the next episode goodbye